Okay, hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and you are watching The Savage Boutique. So today I am going to talk to you about things changing about my business now that I'm becoming a mom. I've, this is like the third time I've tried to make this video. The, I am just gonna do me and I need notes guys. I don't know about you or about the other YouTubers out there that just look like they got their shit together. I just, I can't, I need notes. So if you see me looking down, I'm not looking at my, I'm just looking at my notes. Things changing about my business as I become a mom. So there's a lot of things. Let me try and do like a quick 30 second wrap about what I've already changed. So Blake and I live in a one bedroom apartment. It's not very small, but for a family it can be, especially with a baby. So there was a lot of things that we needed to do, like we needed to get a storage unit in order for my business, the baby, and all of our stuff to fit into the apartment. There's things that changed for Savage Boutique regarding where it's placed inside of the apartment. Things that we've changed are like safety, for safety precautions and for ease for me after I actually give birth. I understand that the baby's not gonna come out walking just in case we're here longer than we expect to be and the baby starts crawling. You know, I just wanna make sure that there's extra room for the baby, extra room for space for the business without feeling cluttered or, what is that word, Callie? I don't either, I don't know it either. I just wanna make sure since I do work from home and I am self-employed, that I'm very prepared for when the baby does come as prepared as I can be at least. As for the home, it's gonna be really hard. Ooh, I yelled at. As for the home, it's gonna be really hard for me to explain like what we changed without it being extremely boring. So I'm just gonna skip over a bunch of all these like little details that we did to change and adjust our home to make it like baby approved. But if I can give any advice about what we learned while moving things around, the more we move things around, the more that we prepare, the bigger I'm getting. And so the more I'm realizing like, I need to make sure like I have walking space. Even though we only, we have a small bed, like a small apartment, it doesn't mean that we have to live cramped. So that's why we got the storage unit because I don't wanna be three a week po or two days postpartum, three days, a week, a, whatever, however many days or weeks postpartum, holding my baby, sleep deprived, trying to work, and then trying to squeeze past things that's like super cramped. And that's definitely something for you to think about if you're in our, if you're in the similar shoes as we are. Because our home, my home is my office, so I wanted to make sure I touched base on that. But there's a lot more that's changing within like the business aspect. So let me get to it. So the first thing is, okay guys, please don't be mad. The, if you haven't been, if you're not aware, the first thing that I'm changing or for the business, the candle jars. Currently I use recycled wine bottles that I hand cut, treat, clean, every, sand, everything that you can imagine. It's a long process. It is a very unsafe for adults to do. Like it's not unsafe to the point where it's like, why are you doing it if it's so unsafe? But it's just unsafe. You can cut yourself, you can, the bottle can shatter and it can explode. You can inhale, you can be breathing in the, if you're sanding it, the things that you're breathing in is glass particles, can like cut your lungs up. So uh, safety precaution wise, I just really need to think about my safety. On top of that, when the baby comes, I can't really be having shards of glass or bottles shattering sand or glass sand particles around when I have a baby. So I am streamlining the process and I am using those beautiful jars that I switched over for holiday purposes. So if you've seen my holiday candles, they're in these like extremely cute clear jars with a black lid. They're 12 ounces, so it's in between of my eight ounce and my 16 ounce, which makes me very happy. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be switching over to those. Long story short, I am streamlining the process because I need to make it child friendly in here. This is where my baby's going to live. This is where we live and this is is where I run my business from so however I do have a bunch in stock so if you are interested I have a 15% off discount going on for my shop until Halloween so go check that out get your wine bottle candles stack up on them give them out as gifts you can come visit me at any of the holiday craft shows that I'm going to be a part of I will leave a list of all the shows that I am doing um, in the upcoming weeks and then you can come visit me I should I'll probably still have some wine bottle candles there I have a lot of jars that I've prepped for the shows. It's not like three and then I'm out. So you have plenty of time to still get yours. I'm just not prepping anymore. Like I'm not, I just, I can't do it. And 
for the safety reasons. The next thing I'm doing is I am planning ahead for seasonal things, for social media content and for blog posts and YouTube posts, products and everything like that. I'm going to be planning ahead so that when that time comes, it's not the spur of the moment like, oh, sorry, did I scare you? It's not the spur of a moment like, oh, I, I came up with this, I need to do this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and then I'm frantically trying to figure it out, frantically running out of time because Christmas is coming up and why didn't I think of this and all this stuff. So I have been creating this awesome marketing book for myself to plan ahead for the business, to, pl Stop yelling at me. to plan ahead for the business, to plan ahead for new product launches, new email launches, new discounts. I have all that prepped. So this way when the baby comes, I can just tweak a few things or just press send and then boom, it's done. This way it allows me to continuously prep ahead. So I am not like, I will never feel this like, I'm behind, I'm behind, I'm behind. Now granted, I'm not perfect, I'm only human, so it's probably going to happen that I will feel that at some point, or I will have not have thought of everything. Since I have been proactively planning ahead, which I should have been doing the entire time, but now that I have a more gr better grasp on the business and on what you guys want from me, I know more about my business coming up to my year mark than I did when I first started. The next thing that I'm doing is prepping months in advance. I'm going to be scheduling and booking and making products so the or not scheduling booking products but I'm gonna be scheduling and booking craft shows um, as far in advance as I possibly can I think that it's going to help keep me more organized it's gonna help me feel more proactive it's going to make me more prepared and then on top of it the prepping part that comes into play I'm going to make sure that I am like fully stocked on jars and then I'm I am constantly pre having more production days if I just keep making sure that the stock is as full as possible then I can you know not have to stress or worry if somebody places an order and I don't have the product and then I'm like breastfeeding or whatever. Next thing that I'm going is that is changing about my business is all of these fun exciting things are happening in my life. I'm extremely grateful. I am adding new demographics to the business. I originally was like the single boho girl who just loves burning candles and you know whatever. That was what I thought my was my tar target audience, but now that I'm no longer going to be doing these um, awesome recycled wine bottle jars, which may, does really make me sad. It was a lot of hard work, but it was something like, oh, I did that. Yeah. And granted, these candles still make me feel that way because it's like they smell so good and they're so pretty, but my demographics is changing. I am going to be focusing more on as new product comes through and I, and I launch new products. It's going to be focused more on my new demographics. So that's fun. So if you're a mom or if you're a new mom or if you're a mom to be or if you're a wife or you're engaged, please like and subscribe. I mean, everybody else can too, but you guys are the people I'm trying to connect. Also, if you are in my area and you're looking for a new mommy friend, hit me up, y'all. Let's go get coffee. And of course, another thing that's changing is the new products that I have been mentioning. I am going to be consistently adding new products. My graphic tees line, killing it. This, I love my shirts. They're so comfortable. I'm going to be adding new products. Let me just say what the next thing is because they kind of go together. Ooh. Fight through it, fight through it, fight through it. Oof. I'm going to be creating passive income channels for myself so I can really focus on my kid being a mom and not have to worry about a bunch of stresses when it comes to creating all of the products. So for instance, for those of you who don't know, a passive income is when you create a design or you create something that you only have to do once and then what and then it just you sell it and you can continue to sell more so for instance when you like books somebody that creates one book especially ebooks and puts it out there like that's passive anytime somebody buys the book the book's already made as the seller you don't have to worry about making it and sending it to them and shipping it to them and doing all that stuff that ebook is already made so they buy it and then it's an instant download I think everybody needs to have passive income channels even before I was pregnant, 
I had been brainstorming and creating passive income channels. Now I'm just going to be launching them. So one thing that I wrote down was altering my perspective and broadening my awareness. I am extremely aware of how unsafe it is for those wine bottle jars to make them. The other thing too is like now that I'm pregnant, like a lot of people, like a lot of people that would meet me in person at my craft shows before I did wax melts would be like, oh, do you have wax melts? I have children. And sometimes like the candle just doesn't, you know, it's just not safe. And I'm like, oh. My Kindle's safe. Why isn't it safe for kids? And now that I'm like humming, like my brain is changing to be more aware of children, that attitude is completely gone. I never actually had that real attitude, but you know what I mean? Like your perspective on things, it changes when you are putting your, when you actually are in those shoes yourself. I'm going, I'm just gonna be altering my awareness and broadening, or altering my perspective and broadening my awareness because I think that we just all need to do that every once in a while. Another thing that I've already started changing and thank God I have, how and where I store my product and business in the household, which is what I've already mentioned. We have redone our closet in our bedroom and I'm so glad we did because I am able to store candles in there and I have like a beautiful like setup of my like shelving units and everything like that so my stock really goes in there and the best part is is I love advertising I love taking photos of my stuff and I love posting on Instagram and being social and I love when people come over and they see my stuff my favorite part of it all when they when you come over and you see like the product that I'm actually using myself versus like the stock shelving unit I'm burning my 16 ounce blue raspberry candle like when somebody comes over and they see like that I've burned that that's more personal to me because I truly love my product so if you see me loving my product then cool but if you see my product like fully in stock I feel like um how many people go to like warehouses and see that like I don't need you to see my warehouse section so we've kind of turned our closet into my warehouse section which is awesome and the final thing is where and when I'm able to work so right now I'm able to work whenever I want to however long during the day however early in the morning I have full control over where and when I work and now that I am going to be giving birth soon I'm gonna have to think about where and when I work with the kid the first six weeks um, is mater is technically maternity leave so I've already prepped and prepared for that and now it's like time to think about like am I actually going to be able to work during that time I hope that I'm able to at least like put in a few hours of work just to break up my days during the first like five to six weeks however oh this is so gross my goal is my dad and my soon-to-be mother-in-law have graciously offered to help come over and babysit for me so I can continue to work I'm really grateful that I have two very understanding people I'm just like really grateful and I, those are some things that I'm going to be that are that are changing are in the process of changing I'm going to be changing or have already changed I hope for all of you other self-employed moms or work from home moms or any people that just genuinely want to work from home or whatever it is I hope that my video helped you because I feel like it's helped me just saying it all out loud again Whew. um <laughs> Okay, but seriously though, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you think of anything else that you think I might need to change, please leave that in the comments below. If this helped you in any single way, let me know. I am super social and I love talking to people and meeting new people, so I will definitely be responding to any comments that people leave. Go check out the shop, guys. You have until October 31st for, this, for the Halloween discount. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.